So my name is Brian Moynihan, and I speak for the trees. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I do speak on behalf of my family, my wife and my son. Uh, we've lived in, my wife and I have lived in town for 18 years, and my son is at Carborough Elementary School. Uh, and I'm here to speak against the Creekside alignment. So overwhelmingly, the arguments we heard tonight are those in favor of the Creekside alignment. For people who are saying that, they were saying they were speaking in favor of the Greenway. But the Creekside alignment is not only the least ecologically friendly of the options, it's also the most expensive and the longest, actually, for people who want to get to school in an efficient manner. Um, so the expense begins with millions of dollars that we talked about tonight, um, where we start building a pathway in a flood zone. Um, but it doesn't end there. So I'm concerned with the cost and the interventions in wild spaces will continue indefinitely into the future. So that includes repairs, that includes painting, lighting, trash cans, security, and parking lots. So if this is going to be accessible to people, then we're going to have to have parking lots as well, which we also don't have <laughs> accessible to this spot. So we heard about this giving this greenway to our children and our grandchildren, and that is unfortunately correct. Uh, not only will they give the current generation pay for paving the woods, but our kids and their kids would pay financially and uh, ecologically as well. So I don't believe this is the best use of town resources in alignment with our values, uh, and including things like affordability. I don't think that's, that makes sense uh, for our values, uh, nor I think, you know, from an ecological perspective. So the town did an amazing job of outreach. I was so impressed to hear all the things that the town did. But unfortunately, it was all focused around this survey that was incredibly biased. I, was, I appreciate the, the uh, previous person who talked about that. Um, because I think that some of the public support is misleading, partially because of the way the options were framed. So for instance, if you ask, would you like a green way to make Carborough greener? People will say, yes. But if you gave the question, do you think that the best use of town funds is spending millions of dollars to pave the woods? That same person might say no. So we, we haven't heard a question of trade-offs in this discussion. And in fact, including how much this money is being spent and how we might spend it in a better way. So the Greenway service was incredibly biased. Uh, it's a fact that's frankly embarrassing for a town so full of UNC graduates. Um, and so if you look at it, the phrasing of this was as follows. Option one, the Creekside alignment was described as, and I quote, the preferred alignment, the most successful, giving the most options. Option two, steep topography, increased engineering costs, potential ADA accessibility constraints. Option three, concerns from many parents, many engineering constraints to be cost effective. So. Obviously, this was an incredibly biased survey, and this came out, I mean, I, the first time I saw this was from, from the town itself. The, I, my son goes to Carver Elementary, it came to me, and these were the options that were given. So people were choosing from these options, weren't given reasonable options, they weren't given trade-offs of how the money could otherwise be spent and more in line with our values. They were given, frankly, very biased perspectives that have been around since 2009 and not corrected, um, which is like, I'm a little embarrassed to say that as a, as a citizen of Carborough and a proud citizen. I, if you look at my Gmail, uh, it actually says I'm a Car Carborough partisan. <laughs> like, I'm the person who fights on behalf of Carborough, but I'm a longtime believer. So my time's up, but I did want to say that the continued undervaluing of our wild species is concerning, um, and I don't think this is a very good use of funds, and I, I hope we can keep Bowling Creek as wild as possible. Thank you for time.